Mr. Links and you're watching BRBP TV. Be real, be positive. Two words that can come from BRBP TV it's realness and positivity. One of the main purposes of BRBP TV was to demonstrate the real skills and positive talents of the Dominican people to the Dominican population, to the Caribbean, and to the rest of the world. For 2012, we are about to embark on that journey, so keep it locked. Be real. Be real. Be real. Being real is genuine. You must not be a force with this. Be yourself. Be real. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be positive. Be optimistic. Bright side of everything. Always believe that things can work, things can happen, that you can. Be real. Be Welcome back. Without a further ado, I bring to you a remarkable young man who has indeed decided to play a positive role in his community and was a big inspiration in the music sector. <laughs> My name is Kendrick Lawrence from Dominica. I play the drums. I started playing music at the age of 13, 14, somewhere there about. And I started taking music um, serious at the age of about 17, 18. It's a bit of both, both of them. I saw drummers drumming, I saw musicians playing music and I was kind of interested in the, in the whole vibes. And still, just seeing that, it birthed the passion in me. So it was both passion and plus what I see, I saw people doing. Locally, when I was younger, I listened to Jude Hilton, Wayne Hilton, um, Leon Seja. Um, yeah, that's about it locally. Um, internationally, I listened to Kirk Franklin. Um, basically, Kirk Franklin, that was, that was more, that was as much as I was exposed to. not the drums. The drums I see as a necessary part of the music, the rhythmic section, 
section, the part of the the part that carries the music, I would say. When I was starting off in the drums, um, at the church there was a drum set and there wasn't a drummer to play a drum, so I kind of had to fill in a gap. So that's basically how I started playing the drum. I play the, the keyboard. I love the keyboard because the keyboard has the drums on it, it has the piano on it, the organs on it. I can basically emulate or any, any other instrument on that, on that piece of instrument. So I, I learned to play that instrument to some extent. My ability has taken me not too far, only throughout the Caribbean. I've been to the Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbados, and Lucia, mm, just to name a few. I've just been to those islands playing music as a drummer, um, mainly representing God as I am a church musician mainly. And it has brought me to a position where I get to know people, I get to know people of um, people that is known, people that is known get to know me a little bit. I get to know musicians, I get to build a network of friends, and basically as far as the music has brought me. To me, playing the different genres of music kind of opened my mind. Um, it taught me how to play different styles, it taught me how to appreciate different characters in people, it taught me how to appreciate different types of music. Like before I played jazz, I never liked jazz. But now I kind of, I love jazz and jazz, um, that was the, the last song I listened to was a jazz song for the day. So it basically helped me in the area of opening my mind and opening my appetite and make me want to learn more, I want to know more. Karas came Zuk. And from Zuk came the Kompa, Kompa or the, the um, Haitian they have from Haiti. They kind mm. of have a symbol on that side, most of them. And I can already play all of it.
Locally, I have played with Fishes of Men, Brothers of Destiny, Eight Toos. I have played with Vessels of Honor. I have played with Nicole Christian and her All Star Band. I have played, well, I played once with the Fanatic Band, I played with Caribbean Vibes, uh, I played with Freddie and Friends, I played with Mission. I also played for Ophelia Marie, that's a lady of sound. Originally, I played for artists such as Mr. Lynx out of Bahamas, played for Jai from Jamaica, DJ Nicholas, Jamaica. Um, Q Trinidad. Um, Emron Henry, that's from, from where? St. Lucia. Um, I also played for um, Carlin Davis and St. Matthew out of Jamaica. <laughs> DJ, I'm not sure where he's from. I played for, I played for a couple, I played for a couple bands, a couple artists. Um, I started a drum class sometime last year, for the second time I started it. Um, the student, I had about nine students, um, nine, to, nine to about eleven students, and they, were, they started well, and after a while they started losing commitment to the art and to practice. So I kind of, I stopped the class because didn't have a student that was committed to learning the instrument. I basically did that because I wanted to present the opportunity to some of the young men, particularly the young men, to give them a chance to you know, do something other than sit down on the roadside doing nothing. Well, I see my future as my children or child, and I want my children slash child to look back at the music that I recorded and the things that I did and say that's what my daddy did and I want to do better, I want to be better. So I see my future as being better than now because life is basically about progress and if it's not me being better but my future, my, my children should be better than me and that's how I see my future. <laughs>
keep practicing, keep at it. Don't let anybody discourage you if you have a passion. Don't let your parents discourage you. Don't let um, your, your, your peers discourage you. Don't let your teachers discourage you. You want to do something, you ask somebody, then you be that person. You are a musician, you be that musician that you want to be because right now, I looking back at the decisions I made, if I was back in um, my college days when I was getting into college and I had the mindset that I have now, if I had a choice back then, I would not go to college and do something that I did not want to do. I would pursue the music um, as my career without having something to fall back on. I would fall back on my career because people study to become doctors, lawyers, teachers, and nobody tells them to, to get something to fall back on. But as a musician, they would always tell you you need to get something to fall back on. So my encouragement to you is keep at it. You have a passion. It is your passion. Continue.